Hi guys. Magandang araw nga pala sa inyo. Guys, alam niyo ba? Ngayong araw na to. January 30, 2020. Alam niyo guys, diniglara na ng DOH na meron na tayong coronavirus dito sa Pilipinas. Ito ang kauna-unahan na nagkaroon tayo ng coronavirus. Alam niyo guys, nakakatakot syempre, di ba? Kasi nababalitaan natin sa mga TV. Alam niyo naman, eh syempre ang pinakamabuting gawin natin ay eh, mag-ingat tayo. Ngayon guys, maraming paraan naman daw para kahit paano makaiwas tayo sa sakit. Kailangan daw natin minum ng tubig, kumain ng mga masustansya sa pagkain, gagamit tayo ng mas para at least makakaiwas tayo. Hindi lang sa mga kung anong mga sakit, syempre. Hindi lang sa kung ano pa ang mga sakit. Syempre, kailangan din natin magpalakas ng resistensya. Guys, panoorin nito ah. Coronavirus is a type of virus that causes infection in your sinuses, upper respiratory system, throat and nose. There are many different types of the virus, but some are very serious. In early January 2020, WHO identified a new type of coronavirus. Known as 2019 Novel Coronavirus 2019 NCOV in China. By late January, there were more than 800 confirmed cases in China. And the death count continues to rise. Coronavirus was first identified in 1960. But scientists had no idea where it came from. They get their name Corona due to their crown-like structure. Coronavirus can affect both animals and humans. They spread the same way as other cold viruses. They can spread through coughing and sneezing. They can also spread by touching an infected person's face, hand or other body parts. The virus can also spread by touching infected doorknobs which might have been touched by infected people. The symptoms of coronavirus are runny nose, severe cough, sore throat, fever, difficulty breathing. Tests like nose culture, throat culture and blood work can identify the virus. The symptoms, if the attack is not severe, can go away within three to five days. If the infection spreads to your lower respiratory tract, it can reach your windpipe and both of your lungs, where it can lead to pneumonia. This is more common in older people with heart issues or people with weak immune system. The virus can spread to your kidneys. It may lead to kidney failure if not diagnosed and properly managed. There is no vaccine available for coronavirus to help prevent the virus and keep yourself safe. Here are the things you need to do similar to avoid the common cold. After coughing, sneezing, before, during and after you prepare food, wash your hands. Wash your hands if they are visibly dirty. Use warm water and soap. Or with hand sanitizers. Keep your hands and fingers away from your mouth, nose and eyes. Avoid contact with people who are infected. Or you suspect they might be affected. Avoid close contact with the infected individuals. Do not use their used items, such as soap, towel, spoons, glass etc. Cook your meal thoroughly, especially meat, chicken and eggs. Use different chopping boards and knives for raw meat and other foods. When shopping in wet markets, make sure to wash your hands. If you touch a live animal or seafood, such as fish, lobster, etc., do not touch your nose, eyes, mouth after touching any animal or animal products. If you use any tissue after sneezing, immediately throw that away. If you feel any of the symptoms, make sure to seek medical care and share your previous travel history with your health care provider. The most important thing to do is to avoid undercooked animal products at all cost, whether it's milk, meat, or animal organs. Remember, coronavirus spreads the same way as other cold-causing viruses. 
Stay safe, stay protected. Three PUIs are currently admitted and five have been discharged but are still under strict monitoring. DOH also reported one PUI mortality yesterday. We did that. And indeed, adapt healthy lifestyles. Thank you. Okay, we have please no one question each. Tina. Is your house the contact tracing now? Yes, uh, good you ask. I would like to uh, invite in Director uh, Chito Adelino of the Bureau of uh, no, the Epidemiology Bureau. Uh, Chito, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, with the information that we gathered this morning from the result of the laboratory, we have coordinated this time with the Bureau of Quarantine and the uh, CHD of Region 7. Uh, what we did with uh, BOQ is that we requested with the, we requested for the flight details uh, kung ano yung mga flight carriers na sinakyan ng pasyente at uh, saan pumunta dinitignan natin yun that is after we have gathered the information from the patient as to uh, what were the flights they took aside from that we also coordinated our, with the CHD Region 7 and we are looking at uh, the places where they've been to in Cebu and in Dumaguete. Once we have seen or we have the list of these places, uh, then we do the contact tracing. Uh, for the plane, we do the rules of four. That means we need to identify passengers, four passengers front, four passengers at the back, and four passengers on both sides. Then we contact these uh, passengers and advise them accordingly. But for the community, we are looking at the establishment where they stay and advise the, own, uh, the establishment owner to identify the employees uh, that uh, had been in contact with the patient and, uh, and from there do the uh, mandatory quarantine to observe them if ever they will uh, manifest any signs and symptoms of respiratory infection. I'm surprised because we don't have that information either. We don't know how they arrived at that estimate. As you know, estimates are only estimates. We don't know what basis they used for the arriving at the estimate. We don't certainly have that information. As the secretaries mentioned, there are many patients that are considered PUIs, in fact, 27, 29, uh, but uh, not only one of those have been confirmed. Many others have been excluded because the tests have come negative. So I have no information as to how this institute arrived at this estimate. <coughs> So we are reiterating the most recent numbers issued by our headquarters last evening was 6,065 6 cases reported to WHO with 132 deaths. More, more recently this morning, the Chinese have reported further increases in numbers and deaths, uh, which ha have not yet, I believe, been reported to WHO. Uh, but among all of these cases, as you see, there's only 132 deaths that have been reported. If you if you're looking at the mortality rate, uh, you're talking of less than 3% deaths. This is much lower than previous coronavirus infections, um, just so that we look at it from a realistic perspective. Yes, sir. Um, so, Dr. Yes, sir, um, the WHO will be 
Health Emergency Declaration. It can be declared, they declare the global health emergency for anything. Um, what does that contain? What are the implications? So you're correct. Uh, the DG has re has some has asked for a reconvening of the emergency committee of the international health regulations that will be relooking at the novel coronavirus uh, situation. Uh, part of this is because of the increased number of cases that are being reported uh, in China, but also increasingly beyond China. I believe we have now confirmed cases from 15 other countries. Uh, so this changes the situation from the time the committee met the, on the last occasion on the 23rd, and they will be looking at whether this current situation and the evidence and knowledge that has been gained since the last meeting now constitutes enough evidence to classify this event as a public health emergency of international concern. Uh, let me explain that what would that mean uh, the, if WHO then decides to classify this as an international emergency, a public health emergency of international concern, it would then mean that we would work with member states uh, to actively uh, stop the transmission of this virus, uh, and that may include restrictions that are agreed with member states uh, to facilitate that process. What those restrictions are, we cannot tell, and that will be based on the risk assessment and the conclusions that the committee reached this evening. But the, the aim of the declaration is to prevent the further spread of this disease and to control it as early as possible. So the uh, the reproductive rate, the, the number that we look at to define the infectivity of an infection in this case is lower than for SARS. The numbers have improved reflecting the increased preparedness and readiness of the Chinese and the early start to the testing of people. So we have to look at it in that context and not purely be, uh, compare numbers, right? We are talking 17 years later, enhanced preparedness and capacities and so, and larger population, so we will would have expected to see more numbers. That doesn't actually mean that this infection probably is more infectious than SARS. Uh, the numbers that we have currently does not support that. Well, that has obviously changed uh, by now. And that is why uh, I will strongly recommend to the task force, the uh, Emerging Infectious Disease Task Force, uh, of whose members that I already enumerated, a uh, temporary restriction of travelers from the entire Hubei province of China. But I believe that will still change. It could expand uh, the uh, number uh, or increase the number uh, of places depending on uh, the assessment that is going to be done uh, by the WHO. So we will be waiting for the assessment uh, of the WHO and recommendation whether to add to the list uh, some more places with a relatively higher burden of NCOV infection. Okay, so this is going to be dynamic. Yes, well, uh, that is assuming they haven't traveled uh, to any uh, of the 
affected places in China. So you and I, we it's the season of flu. Uh, every now and then uh, we develop coughs, uh, colds, slight fever, weakness, body malaise, uh, etc. And uh, what I have been saying is to make sure that uh, we should uh, we should uh, uh, be very conscious about personal hygiene such as washing of the hands for 20 seconds uh, palm and at the back of the hands and the digits uh, make that 20 seconds and uh, we recommend as often as you can uh, if not if you have alcohol you uh, apply alcohol uh, on your uh, uh, hands on your palms and then the cup etiquette uh, the maintain, uh, maintaining the uh, distance of uh, uh, not less than one meter uh, apart from the next guy uh, in front, at the back, or uh, at your side. Uh, and uh, the hydration, drinking a lot of water, because as I have read uh, yesterday uh, in some articles, it appears that the virus will be difficult to inactivate in uh, low temperatures and low humidity or dry dry uh, uh, atmosphere so uh, having said that therefore i strongly recommend as uh, your doctor that you have to drink a lot of water make sure your throat is moist so that the virus doesn't uh, uh, attach to it and, and gets uh, eventually absorbed uh, and then of course the uh, uh, intake of uh, nutritious, uh, nutritious uh, food stuff uh, rich in uh, vitamins A, C, D, E uh, and also uh, mineral zinc you can uh, get that uh, uh, included in the uh, multivitamins that you take uh, instead of iron you uh, deliberately point out to those that with uh, zinc so that's been proven uh, to protect uh, the throat uh, the uh, drink a lot of uh, uh, fruit juices rich in vitamin C. Eat uh, put malungay in many of your uh, uh, soup uh, or uh, other food stuff and uh, avoid uh, crowded places as much as possible. And if you are feeling any of the symptoms I have just mentioned, uh, do wear a surgical mask. It's going to help prevent the spread uh, of uh, whatever virus you have. This is not just talking about NCOV, but you have uh, alpha influenza virus, you have the beta influenza virus, you have the uh, uh, streptococcus pneumoniae, you have the Haemophilus influenza, and, uh, and also even some opportunistic uh, microorganisms. Huh? Because if your resistance is weak, then even the ubiquitous organisms that we breathe every now and then will tend to cause disease in people with uh, very poor uh, immunity. Pulong Balita ng Department of Health kaugnay sa 2019 Nobel Coronavirus. Kinumpirma po ng Department of Health na may isa ng kumpirmadong kaso ng Nobel Coronavirus sa Pilipinas. Isang 38 anos po na babae ang kauna-unahang kumpirmadong kaso ng NCOV na galing sa Wuhan at China. Dumating siya sa Pilipinas via Hong Kong noong January 21. Asymptomatic o hindi siya nakitaan po ng sintomas. Uh, hindi rin ho daw siya nagkalagnat ayon yan kaya Department of Health Secretary Francisco Duque the third pero tiniyak po ng DOH na they are on top of the situation patuloy daw sila nagkipag-ugnayan sa World Health Organization at uh, tinitiyak na makokontain ang sakit ayon naman mo sa WHO meron na raw labing limang bansa ang konfirmado merong coronavirus at dahil dito pinag-aaralan na ng WHO ng pagdedeklara po ng public health emergency of international concern. Muli pong paalala ng Department of Health dahil po sa meron ng kumpirmadong kaso ng NCOV dito sa Pilipinas. 
Panatilihing malinis po ang kamay, maghugas ng kamay at maglagay na alkohol hanggat maaari. At itaas daw po ang intake ng vitamin C. Kumain din ng maraming malunggay at iwasan ang matataong lugar. At umaari maglagay o magsuot ng face mask. At yan po ang ating live coverage. Tutok lang dito.